Well, my uh, secondary is finished winding, as you can see. That's 24 inches of 24 gauge, which equals up to about, well, exactly 24 inches would be 1,075 turns, but I think I've done a little bit more than that, in fact, because uh, this uh, former was exactly 26 inches long. This is about an inch, and this is less than an inch, so I got a little bit more, probably half an inch more than I was expecting. Uh, this is a spool of wire I was using, and look how small it is now. It's barely got anything on it. Uh, you can see the sides right here. It went all the way out here uh, when I first got it, and now it's all the way down there. Uh, as you can see, the sides have been chipped in two different places on that side and then once right here and that so you can actually see the secondary through that because uh my mom dropped it and she won't buy me no new wire <laughs> anyway uh this has actually been quite a bitch to do with this finger because i still can't really move it uh anyway now i'm going to coat it with this polyurethane it's the same kind that uh Dr. Spark, a.k.a. Uh, Chris Hooper, a.k.a. on YouTube, uh, DRSSTC, uh, Min Wax, Fast Drying, Polyurethane. Uh, that's what he used, and I'm going to spin it for about two hours after I apply it to uh, make sure that it doesn't, you know, cl make clumps or anything like that. I've already cleaned, I've already cleaned the outside of it with... Uh, with a paper towel, or no, a piece of cloth, my bad, anyway, and uh, I went over it with my heat gun for about an hour, uh, again, after I did the wire, from about this far at a thousand degrees, uh, that might sound like a little bit much, but I felt it every now and then, and it didn't get too hot, it just got warm, that probably didn't help anything, but I'm not taking any chances, damn it. <laughs> Anyway, let me start spinning. I've already mixed up the polyurethane, and I'll coat it. Bubbles. Yeah, it is. Oh well. Uh, they tend to disappear after uh, doing this for a while. It already looks like glass. I didn't even know. I didn't know it would do that. The bubbles have already disappeared.
you can still see bubbles, so I'm just gonna keep going over it until they're gone. Uh, that's how I've done it with other things. Very shiny. Now I'm just gonna keep it running like this for a while and uh, in about four hours I'll come back and turn it off. Also I'm gonna set this light up near it so that it uh, so it has some source of heat to help it dry. I'm not gonna put it too close though, just a little bit of heat. 